Hey, I hope you're having a great day. We had a stretch of really nice weather and one of the projects that we got done was over at the farm. I went over as mom was planting up the hay racks that are along the fence as well as a wagon that she puts out for decoration. We have talked about these hay racks or done videos about them in the past. They are the 44 inch hay racks from an online company called Garden Artisans and so far mom is really happy with them. They're pretty heavy duty, high quality baskets, but they have held up really well. I think she leaves them out all year long, so they have to be pretty tough to withstand the weather conditions and still look nice. This past year she did order two additional hay racks so that she could finish the front of the fence. So I think this brings her total up to eight hay racks. She may comment if I have my numbers wrong. And being that this is the second or third year that she has been putting flowers in them, she's kind of honed in on what she likes. She is a big fan of the Supertunia Vista series of petunias. So she's using the Supertunia Vista bubblegum, which is a classic bubblegum pink color. I was gonna say flavor. And then she's using a little bit of a darker one, which is called fuchsia. It's a little bit more saturated than the bubblegum. And then the third one she's using is a silverberry. And it's not quite white. It has a little bit of a pink undertone. And in the center of the throat is more of the fuchsia color. So I think this is going to be a really nice combination. She's doing one of each of these in each of the baskets. So they should kind of mix and mingle and have just a really pretty display of very light to very dark pink. Last year she did have a super bina, I believe, in each of the baskets. And by the end of the summer, you really couldn't see it at all. So she decided to just stick with the super tunias and save a little bit of money and not do that extra fourth plant in there. The Supertunia Vistas love this location. It is full sun all day long. They do have this set up on drip. So running along the top of the fence is half inch drip tubing. And in each of the baskets, they have emitters. I think they have three emitters per basket. And that provides enough water to keep these flowers happy all summer long. There is a little bit of fine tuning as they set up the water and obviously the needs of the flowers change throughout the summer in these first couple weeks when it's a little bit cooler and they're just starting to grow. They don't need quite as much water, but having the drip irrigation on a timer is so convenient, especially later in summer when they may need water twice a day when it gets really hot and muggy. So planting up these potters, plant potters. <laughs> so planting up these hay racks is pretty easy. On the Garden Artisans website, it actually told her how much soil she would need in each of the baskets. So she's using one and a half cubic feet of soil in each of the baskets. She is adding a slow release granular fertilizer. So it will really be there releasing nutrients over the course of the summer. That being said, mom will fertilize with a water-soluble fertilizer on a weekly basis. And to be honest, she probably does it more than just weekly. And I think it might be okay. The plants clearly love it. As I mentioned, they are in full sun. They are getting baked all day, every day. So having that extra dose of nutrients is probably pretty helpful for them. The one thing mom mentioned is that they did add two new baskets this year and they'll need to remember to set those up on drip irrigation as well, which is really, it's an easy 20 minute process. All you need to do is add a couple connectors and a little bit more drip tubing and they'll be good to go.
So the next project using Supertunias again is the wagon. And I honestly don't remember where this wagon came from. If it's some really cool wagon that's been passed down from generation to generation or if they found it in an old barn or if this is an auction purchase. But they've been using this as a decoration planter, kind of, for the last few years. It started out with mom putting pots inside the wagon and she would have like 10 pots of petunias in there and it was beautiful. It got to be a little bit cumbersome trying to water those 10 pots and maneuvering the watering can over all of them and you have to haul water over to this location. So last year, I believe it was, they thought of a better idea and dad had, I don't know exactly what these totes or containers were from, but he basically sawed them in half and they fit pretty well inside the wagon. There might even be a rubber liner at the bottom of the wagon just to protect it a little bit more from any water damage. And there are drainage holes in the bottom of the plastic containers. I think we did a video on it last year, so if you wanna see how they set that up, check that video out. But she's using the same plants in here as well. She's only putting eight supertunias in this entire wagon and it's hard to believe but in a few short weeks it's going to be starting to grow and the colors are going to start to pop and it's going to look beautiful. Last year she did put a, I think it was called Back to the Fuchsia Selvia as kind of a centerpiece. It was a little bit taller, it bloomed, she cut the blooms back and then it bloomed again but she's not going to do that this year. I don't think it was quite worth having it in there. It was beautiful when it was blooming, but it didn't bloom quite as long as like the Supertunias do. So she opted to just go with the Supertunias this year and I may try and talk her into putting some dahlias in there and see what she thinks of that. But either way, we will take some videos or some pictures of this throughout the summer, maybe do a tour of the plants and the flower beds over at mom and dad's and keep you updated on how it looks. It's going to be really pretty again this year and we look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you are able to get out and enjoy some fresh air and hopefully some warmer temperatures. See you in the next one. Bye.